Hey Stars fans, Colin Chuck sitting down with last year Phase 1 draft pick Arlo Meriden. Arlo, you're here down for camp for the second time. How do you think this year's camp went for you compared to last year? Uh, pretty well. I mostly played just about the same as last year, I think. Uh, just a little better probably in the physical department. Uh, really put on some speed and some weight. So, uh, yeah, I could throw the body around and get into the tight areas, but last year I was more like on the perimeter, but overall I thought I had pretty good camp this year and last year, so. You were on the affiliate list over this past season. Uh, how was that relationship that is built with the GM John Hull and the Stars over the course of the last uh, 12 months and change? Yeah, pretty good. I um, John's really wanted me to come out a few times, but it's been tough timing and stuff with uh, my school and stuff. I can't have too many absences and stuff, but uh, so I'll probably be out a few times next year and then the following year I'll probably come in and play. But yeah, he, I really like him. He's a really nice guy down to earth. So. We'll You're from Halifax, Nova Scotia. That is for a lot of people that know their hockey, and especially junior hockey, it's a major junior city. Yeah. So what is the environment in a Canadian major junior city that a lot of people in the U.S. may not understand about the culture of major junior hockey mm -hmm. and just being in that area? Yeah, so like everyone loves the, the Mooseheads out where I'm from, so they're all like why why aren't you playing for the moose heads and stuff like that they don't they don't understand right like a few kids in my street they're like my dad tries to hype me up like it's a moose heads <laughs> draft pick they're like oh my god so they but yeah everyone they just love the the moose heads and junior hockey in the queue so but uh yeah they don't really understand the college and like the education so it's 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 different but that's the path i chose so and speaking of that, you're committed to Ohio State, where the Stars have a couple guys heading next year mm -hmm. to the Big O, is what I'm calling it. Um, what was it about the college route that really got you intrigued and got you down that course to settle on OSU? Well, I, I visited a couple other schools, and I, I wasn't really sure what I wanted. And I like I like the big school feel, one of the biggest in the country. So I thought that was really cool. And uh, Coach Rollick and Coach Bittner and Coach Miller were really, really keen on having me there, and they, they had some really good things to say, so that's what I liked about that. And when I visited, I, thought, I felt right at home, so it was really good. Did they teach you about the tradition of just hating everything about a big yellow M? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, everything everything about that. So I was just talking to, to Rolick yesterday. We're planning about uh, going going to see a few games with the hockey team in next year and uh, Thanksgiving when I'm on break, so I'm actually going to... They're playing, uh, the football team's playing Michigan and then the hockey team's playing Penn State, so that would be cool to get out there for the weekend, see that culture and the, just the atmosphere of the school. So. Let's transition away from hockey a little bit. Let's get into some other things outside of the sport. So let, let's speak there first. Outside of hockey, what's something that you like to do recreationally? It can be a sport or it can be something that's not related to sports at all. Uh, yeah, I like just hanging out with my friends, going to the beach. We have a, I don't know if you know the spike ball, like the little net with the... Yeah, I've heard of two, that. Two, two, two versus two, a little game. That, that's a lot of fun. And I like practicing that, playing that with my buddies. So, and then there, there's a lot of good beaches around Nova Scotia, so I like doing that. So, have, have you been to a lot of other beaches, whether it be around Canada or around the U.S., that you think compares to the ones in Nova Scotia? Yeah, obviously there's some nice ones out in Florida and stuff. I usually go down there. Uh, over breaks or something so yeah those are pretty nice but Nova Scotia is it's unique and there's some surfers and stuff so it's pretty cool like that. So. What was your favorite cartoon growing up as a kid? Uh, hmm. I liked uh, a lot of them but like Phineas and Ferb was a good one. Okay that's a that's one I haven't heard yet so what was it about Phineas and Ferb compared to like uh, the big ones like Spongebob and, and those? I don't know I thought Spongebob was just too too silly, I guess. <laughs> but Phineas and Fur was, was, I don't know. It was just like realistic, or not really realistic, but just like kind of relatable. So, so let's go with planes, trains, or automobiles. Planes, planes. My dad's a pilot, so we fly a lot. We get some free flights, so we like to travel a lot. So that's nice. We'll go down the same road. Yeah. Lions, tigers, or bears? Uh, tiger. Why tiger? Stealthy, but deadly. Vacation or staycation? Vacation. And where's your favorite spot to go to vacation to? Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Why is that? I don't know. I've been like three, four times over the course of my life, and I thought it was really nice. I love Cuba. What's, the, what's one thing that 
really stands out about you that your family might know about you that a lot of other people may not? I'm pretty outgoing mm -hmm. with my family, but like with people and stuff, I'm pretty shy at first. So that's something that like once I get comfortable with people, then I'm, I'm more outgoing and stuff and silly. But when I'm just meeting someone, uh, I'm to myself and stuff. So, Did you join in on the Fortnite craze? I have actually, <laughs> like two weeks ago, because my school actually doesn't, like the Wi-Fi doesn't like uh, allow it or whatever for PS4s, or, so I, 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 I have been following it, so once I got home, I signed up for it, it's pretty fun. Well, welcome to the recent, <sighs> more recently, welcome to the cult of Fortnite. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Once again, Arlo Mare, last year, phase one draft pick, joining me here on Stars TV.